Hello, hello everyone. Um, today, tonight, a new session uh, about um, Sparkers, Wikidata, and what can be done. Uh, tonight, I'll focus especially around languages because there's some fantastic news uh, around Lexemes and uh, around Langer Libre. And uh, it's also the um, Ah, shit. Um, yeah, it's tag as French, but it's not French. Sorry. Um, so it's also the Arctic Net Conference, so linguistic everywhere this week. That's like planet aligned for linguistics. So this is what we are going to talk about tonight. And I try to change the language for the session if you want. Can I do it while it's live? Can I? Does he want to? I did something and not sure it works. Anyway, so we'll go directly on my screen <coughs> and I start by showing you <coughs> the page about the Arctic Note Conference, which is the Wikimedia Language Conference, as I said which will take place um, Tuesday and Friday, actually. We are a bit ahead of it. <coughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Um, this is a conference around languages and how we can help, um, how we can help improve the diversity and conference uh, coverage of languages and especially uh, small languages, minority languages, um, under uh, indigenous and un underrepresented, as they say here, languages. So um, this is really, I think, a fantastic conference. Um, uh, I take part, I took part in the previous one, uh, which were the Celtic knot, uh, it was called at the time. And I'm very happy it's coming back this year um, with uh, Wikimedia Norge and Wikimedia UK, Wikimedia Deutschland, uh, Art and Feminism, uh, Wikitongs, the Arctic University of Norway, and there are a lot of fantastic people. If you look at the program, you'll see that there's a lot, like a lot, a lot of very interesting conferences. There's me today, the pre side event. Um, Jan and Albin will be on Saturday for an after side event, and the main program is very interesting. Um, just for information, Abstract Wikipedia Office Hour is right now. Oh no! Oh, thanks, Mai, I guess. Uh, sad. So, yeah, a lot of conference I'll share with you. Uh, uh, the program, feel free to, to see what could interest you. Um, there's a lot, actually. Yeah, there's a presentation about Lingua Libre, for instance, um, which can interest you because that's my next point, conveniently. Uh, Lingua Libre, if you don't know it, um, first again, go in English. It's a party. Uh, recorder of words, pronunciation of words, um, in any language you want, um, as the, whatever you want, in fact, you can record a lot of words, small words, words alone, or sentences, or part of phrases, or locution, or whatever you want. Not easily long text, but you could technically. And uh, this week, well, last week already, 
it went over three, uh, 500, half a million of files now on Wikimedia Commons. So it's very in uh, four years, five years now. I'm not sure exactly how long, but in a very short time, it uh, built a very fantastic uh, database. So if you want to know more about it, uh, it's on first day afternoon, I think. Ah, I forgot about it. Where is it? Yes, yeah. uh, just beginning of the afternoon, first day. And I think it's about four years, yeah, more or less. And another very interesting pre presentation by Mai, who is here in the chat, but probably listening to abstract Wikipedia at the same time. So many things. Um, so Maya will talk about uh, lexicographical data, which also crossed uh, threshold on a big milestone uh, this week because we are also have half a million um, of um, of lexemes, which is how Wikidata stores lexical information. Um, I hope that someday we will cross uh, lingua libre and lexicographical data more, more and more, because actually right now in um, Okay, when you want to record something on Lingua Libre, you can choose to use um, reopen, open, start, next. That's me, whatever. Yeah, when you are here, you can type a list of what you want to record, like dog, chien, um, whatever. That's not a good idea to mix languages at the same time, but here you can put to Wikidata query service URL. Uh, that can be Lixims, so you can record Lixims um, with Lingua Libre. And you can reuse Lingua Libre files recording in Lixims afterwards. For, for instance, if I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to look at Chien again because I have no ID tonight. French Noon, that's the one. If you go down, do I have? Yes, the pronunciation comes from Lingua Libre. So you see that there's a lot of interconnection between Lingua Libre and, uh, and Wikidata. And here I looked uh, by end because I know the tools, but what can be done also is with Sparkle queries. So that's the part that can be very interesting uh, for you, I guess. I hope so, at least. Um, not sure. Yes, there's still a lot of people. I don't know why. Tweet is saying that there's no one looking at me. Why? That's not true. I see people in the chat. So. Um, there's a lot of way to look at languages in uh, in Sparkle because when you open something, there's a lot of places where you can look at uh, languages. <coughs> if I look at a no, regular item like Q item, uh, you see that you have multiple languages here we in the what we call the label and the description and alias also uh, you see that sometimes you have strings inside here for instance where you see the name uh, taxon common name vernacular name uh, again it's linguistic information and you see if you go oh, down you have a link to the Wikipedia uh, over Wikimedia project, Wikisource, Wikicode, Wikinews, whatever uh, project where you have again informat uh, linguistic information. So just for dog, for instance, you see that you find the word in French chien, for instance, chien, as a label, 
as a taxon common name, as a ID, but we don't care about that, and as also uh, a link. So for one, just one item, Q144, you see it's at three different places. And as I said, you also have information, obviously, more specific to Lexemes, uh, more specific to lexicography and language inside the Lexeme. Um, so for instance, just on dog, if you want, for instance, uh, WD uh, dog, and I get Q114, and I can take the label and because I just I can just in one line like that that works I, uh, this line say for this item give me the label and put it in this variable label and it will be done for each and every label so if I do this I will have the word in every, all and every languages known here um, this is useful, but maybe you want specifically to filter to have just one label in one language. For instance, how do you see it in Britain? Oh, in Britain it's key. And maybe I want to compare several labels, so I will put no, not one, I will call it beer. And how do you see it? In um, uh, how do you say it in English? Kimreich, Kimreich, uh, Kim, um, Welsh, Galois in French, but it changed of name in every language. And this way, I can have it in Britain, it's key, K, E, and in Welsh, it's also key, but C, E. So this way I can have, I can compare languages if I want to, for instance. Um, as I said, you had Tuxon command name. We can also take this one. Um, so still for dog, I can WDT for the property Tuxon command name name and I will take again only the name in Britain <coughs> oh is there no name in Britain oh there's no name in Britain that's why it doesn't work I'm cheating and adding it on the fly. Not Welsh Springer, Spaniel, I don't care. I want it. Ah, it's not. And why is that? I don't care about it. Um, so this now should work. Um, I forgot something. Is it too slow? Ah, yeah. Updated, you see here, one hour ago. So I won't have it in real time. Oh, that's not a problem. You can imagine how it works um, instead of RDFS label which is a specific uh, um, prefix and instruction to get the label. Here you use WDT to get uh, the, the name in the string here and not at the top because it's a regular direct property. Uh, and that's already very interesting, but here I'm just working on dog. 
which is nice and I can do uh, values uh, item and put it just once and then every time instead of rewriting it again and again I can just write it once item 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 like that oh now it works so it's not one over oh a few seconds ago now it's green so you see it's label key and name in button key so that's the same thing that's nice and the thing interesting thing with values is why can I put several values which will be several lines so I did the dog but I can do the cat if I want who's cat uh, it's not yeah there's no comma between what Why is it not working? There's no labeling. Mm -hmm. Something is strange. Why does it not work for the cat? Ah, because there's probably I need to put an optional. As I said, there's not always the name with this one. Yeah, but. That's what why. So, um, dog again, dog, cat, and I can put anything like bread if I want to, for instance, apple food. That's it. And I see that you can quickly see that bread is the same, exactly the same in Britain, Welsh, um, that uh, cat is more or less the same you know that k is c and you see that the dog and the cat both start with a k in britain both start with a c in um, in welsh and you know that you can see that th is the same as zh in britain but you can build a list of words like that and see more and more words and compare them um, to have everything you need everything you want uh, uh, church for instance church church building and you see that here the name is more different Elise uh, Egg whatever uh, this is one way to do some uh, <coughs> very quick and dirty let's say um, things around uh, label to have some kind of translation which not always work well because it's just label and not lexemes which we will see afterwards but you can already do some things with that I can share with you this one and I see that some people are confused but I'm speaking English tonight, sorry about that in the chat. Um, here I did it with Breton and Welsh, but if you had home ID, uh, you can, uh, uh, if you already did some Sparkle before, you know that you can change everything you want. So this year, the Celtic note is called the um, the Arctic node because it's supposed to be in Tromsø in Norway. Um, no, this is the people, and what I want is the language. So, the language spoken, I can go in English. What? There's no. What? There's no uh, article in English for Sami? Language? Really? Yes, there is. Why? Something is wrong on my screen. It's not displayed anymore. Anyway, yeah, yeah, it is. Anyway, and you see that you have several um, uh, dialect or language. It's more language because they are not always uh, intercomprehensible. Let's say. 
Um, so anyway, you have several ones. Um, some are more spoken than others, but they all have an ISO code. So most of them, I guess, most of them at least, has an ID in Wikidata. So SMA and S SMS is called, for instance. That could be a good one. Oh, that does not work. Why? Because there's no Sami at all. A Sami is, is not the one. Northern Sami, this one. Okay. Sami, someone. No, Southern Sami. Inari Sami. So I know they exist here. I, what is the code for them, maybe? So, Sovan Sami is supposed to be SMA, Inari SMN. S E. Ah, thanks, Maya. And SMN, maybe? Yeah, this one works for some reason. So, S E is Novan Sami? That's strange because it's SME. And not S A here, but maybe it's both working. No, it's S A. So this one is Nova, and the other one I took was S M N is Inari. Inari, like that. Nova, Inari. Here you have a nice list where you can see that uh, I will not pronounce that at all. But you see cat, dog, and uh, what is it? Dread and, and church, because why not? And apparently, one of them, cat, yeah. For some reason, cat doesn't exist in one of the labels, so there's no result. But if you want something other than cat, you can put uh, Norway, for instance. Could be a good example. Oh, that's a very good example, actually, because these one were pretty close. Here you can see that Kirko, Kirko is close to the same origin as church. Or Kirke in, in German, or you see the same racing. But here, for some reason, Norga and Taza is not at all the same thing. So that's fun. That's an example on how you can mingle, and mix everything, and get some interesting results. <laughs> if you have any question or comment or ID you want me to try, uh, don't hesitate to ask directly in the chat here. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer. Uh, I have some specific ID and I will try to do some mix sims now, for instance. But if you have ID, don't hesitate to do them. Uh, I'll be, yeah, I'll be happy to do it. Um, oh, no, before doing mix sims, I have another ID. If you want to translate from one language to one over, uh, for instance, um, anyway, let's try something. Um, let's imagine an article, a page on one Wikipedia. Schema I wrote an item and page schema this part. of https uh, i need to check if there's a wikipedia in sa yes this one exists and it is very nice sa uh, i will take it directly because i'm too lazy to copy everything so just copy paste like that 
uh, and we we'll call that page SE. SE. And we can take also a page uh, S. I forgot how it was. SMN. They all start with SM more or less. So that SMN, which is, which does exist, and it. Very long letters with a lot of accent. This is definitely Sami. I know nothing about it, but that I know. Um, so we saw this. This one has only three three thousand article, and this one is it? At, yes, seven. Uh, so there's more. So about item, and I will just copy pass again. And I say S E S M N. We will code that. It will be easier to recognize. And so this first two line says, oh, find a page about a subject about this item, this item. Uh, which is part of this Wikipedia, and this does the same thing for another Wikipedia. But since it's the same item, I will have a list of items existing in both uh, these two Wikipedias. So both in uh, Northern Sami and in Ali Sami. I am not sure which one is which one, sorry, again. But in two different Sami. And you see that for this subject, I have, uh, and you see that the same name, so Belgia, for instance, exists in both this one and this one. Uh, Northern Sami and Vogel Sami. So that could be very useful to compare very quickly. So this one, for instance, is a bit bigger. So maybe it's just a thing to retake and improve. And this one is a smaller one, so you can check more quickly. And um, so, yeah, this is a very simple one. I will share it with you anyway, so you can find it back. Um, so. This one is an item existing both on this one and in this one. But if you are working on Wikipedia, maybe you want to do translation. And instead of cumulating, adding the two conditions, you can put a minus. And I will have item as an article in this Wikipedia, but not in this, this, this Wikipedia. So it's Substractive, it's minus, it's in negative, and I will have a smaller list, I guess. Uh, I forgot the number of page in each. Does it work? So that was the surprise because sometimes it takes a lot of time. Okay, ten power? No, that's not right. Oh. Could it be because how many articles was there? Seven. Mm -hmm. Something is strange. How can I have more results for number of page? Ah, uh, maybe because of templates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> maybe not templates, but probably over page one. Um, so. Yeah, strange. But in this one, you can help the smaller Wikipedia, let's say, um, Wikipedia with less articles anyway. 
um, by starting uh, from a similar language, kind of similar. Um, that's how a lot of people doing translation between Wikipedia, uh, working with this kind of things. And here I took I took all item, but I can take item about a specific subject. For instance, I want item for instance of human being WDT for property instance of um, human being. And this will narrow down more specifically what I want. Like fast, I have a much smaller list that's better for me. Um, instance of people that I don't know. Gustav Six, I think, is probably a local. Gustav Vasa is a king of Sweden or Norway or somewhere. Alt Five, yes, that's kings and nobility. Ban Ki Moon, okay, that's George Pompidou. Oh. That's a French president long time ago. That could be used as a work list <coughs> if you want. That's it. And now we have half an hour. Perfect. To talk about Lixims. Yay! So before doing a Sparkle query, I will look. Oh dear. Wikidata, this one, and we look at the Ordia tool, which is always a good place to start uh, if you don't know anything about Lixim and lexicographical information in Wikidata. That's a good place to start to begin uh, knowing things. So, for instance, if you go to um, Languages, you have very general information on what languages we already have in, um, in Xims. So if I type Breton, for instance, you see that there's a bit less than 300 words in Breton, all done by me, actually, because I'm the only one working on it. If you type, type Welsh, you see that there's half of them. And it was done by a, by a bot, so they don't have a very good quality. It's all verbs, I guess. So it's not very representative. <coughs> and you can look for Sami, and you see that there's quite some words that have been added for Sami, but so that's good. So you have Northern Sami, you see there. And you have Over Sami, but you see that there's very, very low number. <coughs> for the other Sami. Some of them are instinct language, sadly. What is this one? Sorry, I need to. I see there's a article that doesn't, shouldn't be there, so I'm correcting directly. Yeah, that's better. Um, so we will work on Northern Sami um, because there's more words that's more interesting. And I don't know the language, but I hope I will be able to understand some things. This reminds me, I still got to open plenty of top pages to finally get things settled so I can work on Northern page. Yeah, yeah, work on Northern because it's for now. If you look for Laura, you only have three lexin that I did for you, Boslovich. So you need to work on that. That would be great. Uh, but yes, indeed, before doing things on Lexem, you have to understand uh, all the lexicography linguistic part. I think you do know that part for, for Laura, Boslovich. So that part is good. But you also have to know the structure and data model inside. Uh, and that's another different kind of worms, let's say. So you have to open plenty of talk pages, as you say, before doing it. So let's try Novan Sami. Um, what we can do very quickly is get all the lexem inside the language. 
so you have a specific um, prefix here which is dct language like dublin 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 core term language and here you can put northern northern sami and i should have uh, oh what oh no that's exactly the same number that's perfect so i know i'm good here um, um, basically what you got is just the L identifier and not much more information you see that some of them are very low number that's good that's been started a long time ago some of them are more or less very recent uh, because you see that here it's almost half a million which is the number we passed last week so oh well, that's the name Novan Sami in Novan Sami. That's that's a clever way to start your language by the name of your language in your language. That's so the Novan Sami language itself. That's good. Uh, but here I clicked on the work to know what it is, but I don't need to do it. I can for this link seems take the Wikibase Lemma Lemma and store it in a new variable that I call lemma. Simple, easy. Uh, you can put it in alphabetic order, uh, order of creation, more or less. Oh, that's an interesting case because here I see that Davis and I see this one is the same as the... So I want to know more about this one. What is it? What does it do? Oh, it's combined of something else again. Something that I want. There's a P inside. Okay, that's probably how Sunny works. And there's no sense. That's bad, so I'm not sure what it is. Probably Sunny language. Probably this is language. Uh, there's not much more information, so I'm not sure what it is. But this is probably Sami, summer, Sam, as we say in French. So okay. But I'm pretty sure the first one combines something. Davis, uh, no, da Davi is probably North or Northern or something. Yeah, let's try to see if there's one of them. It, yeah, it's a noon and northern sunny, so that's the right one in the right language, but it's empty. Oh, who did empty things like that? Wow, thanks, but no thanks. I'm guessing this is probably the right one, it was done a long time ago, so. But here, for instance, I can put combines. So it's the right language at least. And it combines this part too. And this one is the first one. Second one is the second one. It seems obvious like that, but <coughs> yeah, the interface gives you an order. This is the first one and this is the second one. By putting this qualifier, you have very specifically which one is the first, which one is the second, which is not always obvious for uh, a script or a boat which takes the value. And they are not always in the same order on the, on the screen, they are on the same order, but for a robot, it's not always in the same order, so you have to think about that. So, for instance, now that I add some fun information for this lexem, lexem, I can put combined, combined lexems. Yes, uh, aging, let's call it. And this origin also has a lemma.
what am I doing? No. This origin was right now. Okay, that's good. So we see if I take again which one I died. Yeah. This one, Same Gelia, is co combined Same and Gelia. You read it. You read it. Oh, I know this one. Do you, is it Good Morning or something like that? I think it's something, a general phrase you say in Sami. I forgot, sorry. So, um, this is one way to do etymology, for instance. Um, but by default, in Sparkle, you have one line for each information. So, this one has two parts. So, it's two lines. If you want to put them together, you have to ask for it explicitly by a group by Lixim Lema and I choose to put Lixim and his Lema and then do a, what we call a group concat concatenation as Ori genes and I will just take the Lema I don't actually need a number here it's just for display So you see here, for instance, we'll take again the same example. Davi Samagela is Davi and Samagela. And here it's just uh, one after the other, not always in the good order, not always. Maybe there's something wrong. Uh, but you can say with a separator, uh, that the separator is a plus sign, for instance. I think it's like that. It's right here. Yes, that's like that. So you can see a nice plus sign to really see where it starts, where it ends. <coughs> it's better. Some some of these things are a bit strange actually, because you see, for instance, Erlin is n plus n plus Erlin. That's two value. That's strange. What is happening here? Oh, because it's um, that's why. So there's two value, but this value was two to writing. Ah, yes, but this suffix can have two different forms. Uh, ah, that's interesting. What are these numbers? Even, uneven? No. Do we have a suffix? Even and odd, depending on the numbers. Oh, that's a stranger to to do it. Okay, that's explain why you have always have these two together. And then let me. This is probably the same thing. So yeah, you would need to look and know more exactly what this work to select the right one. Uh, actually, that should be done. I'm not sure how, but I'll think about it. Um, I can share this square root. Not perfect, but it works, let's say. And you see, for the total number of like, same in this language, Sami, you have only half, less than half of them, but as an indicative origin. So, that's that's not bad actually. Half of them, almost half, is quite good for lexemes. We can often be quite empty, especially for etymology and origin of the word or things like that. Um, but it could be better, and I hope maybe some people will uh, have some knowledge for this Arctic note and will do some things around that. Um, so this was some simple query still uh, because it's still on the lexem level and there's only one lexem level that's what we call statements here but you when you go down you can have for instance several you have the senses and the forms and you can have several senses because one word can have multiple meaning and you have very often almost always several forms 
many many forms sometimes uh, for instance singular nominative singular genitive because this language has cases yeah and you have the singular number and you have plural number i guess yes here you have so there are six of them and six of them again in uh, plural so that's 12 and there's a passive case so that's 13 in total um, and when you do sparkle you have to to think about that so we remove uh, this because we won't work on the origin again we will try to work on forms for instance like that uh, so this like, seems as a wikibase lexical uh, how is it called uh, ontolex lexical form which we call it form but the form is actually this number, the, the whole thing here, not just what I want here, it's called the representation of the forms. So I need to take this form and go, oh, form, onto the representation, and we will call it that uh, form lemma. And this form also has a grammatical feature, which is also ontolex or wikibase. I'm always confused between the two. Ontolex, no. So it's wikibase. Oops, grammatical feature. Yeah. And we call that fit. Um, so here, for instance, you see that you have very quickly uh, a lot of forms for each and every word. Uh, for instance, this one, as we said, there's 13 of them. So 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And for each and every lexemes, every word, you have more and more uh, like a lot of them so that's why um, there was a bit less than 200 lexeme in northern sami and 800 results so it's more or less four forms yes four forms per uh, lexemes that's not bad because you have words like adverbs for instance that usually only have one form and you have verbs uh, that can be uh, um, very productive and have a lot of forms. So four as average is not bad. And I think some of them are formless, sadly. So that's a good average in total. Um, here the fit is the indicator, so it's not the identifier, so it's not very useful. I can use this little magic here. To say, oh, give me the lemma, and I can actually group by uh, lexin and lemma. Why did I forget about lexin? And as I did earlier, I can group all the forms together. Group concat um, all the form lemma. Uh, I don't need that actually. What I was I thinking? I don't know anymore. Form lemma as uh, forms. And you see that I put a S as plural because there will be several ones. And separator. Separator. Yes, that's it. Uh, comma is good. So here you see that there's only. 27, that's quite low actually. Oh, that's very low actually. And I don't need that for now. That's something else. Yeah, 28, which is one more result. For some reason, one of them has a form with no grammatical feature indicated. That's strange. Okay. Anyway, <coughs> here you see 
this is the main lemma. This is most of the time, this is what you find at the beginning of an entry in a dictionary. This is, oh, this is the main form. This is how most people know this one. But you have all the declension, flexion, variation, whatever, all the forms. Um, let us um, To have all the forms it can take, uh, which can be uh, diachronic or synchronic or whatever. Uh, different autographs, different things. And uh, you have, oh, this one is funny because it's bidders and there's a lot of them. <laughs> For some reason, um, and yes, what I wanted to do also is to do a count because since you have all the forms here, you can count them and put a number MB, for instance, and it will add one more when it says, Oh, how many forms there is because you can count. Oh, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, but if you have like 100 for this one, because why not? It happens. Uh, that's better to have something that counts for you. You do, you don't do any mistakes like that one. And if you see the number for this one, oh, this one is strange because there's only one. Um, that's strange, except if it's an adverb or something like that, but I don't think it's this one. So this one is Bidos, which in English is called Bidos, 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 okay, that's more or less the same thing. What is this thing? Traditional Samis 2, okay, uh, I never have it, oh, but we know that it has as part Reindeer, onion, potato, carrot. Um, now I'm more and more intrigued. Mm, that could be good. That's good or bad. I need to. I want to know what it is. Um, okay, so it's reindeer again. No surprise. Traditional. Cut uh, which is two. Yeah. Meat soup, okay. Meat soup, um, that's interesting. And for some reason, there's a singular nominative case, unitive, accusative, illative, locative, commutative, okay, a plural, that's to be expected. And is it here? Oh, a singular nominative possessive, singular first person, possessive second person. Oh, that's why there's a lot of them. For each person, yes, possessive third number, possessive, yes, and every time possessive, nominative, possessive, accusative, third person, accusative, uh, yeah, that's why this language is so productive. Anyway, that's uh, enough, I think. We don't have to go much further. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, the Turkish languages, I, if things go in a certain way, may have just as many form unknown as that one. Yes, probably. Um, which is, I will try this one to close. I will put language to have all language. Um, I don't care about the form actually. Uh, yes, I care about the form. Yes, I care about the form, but not about the presentation. And I want by lang uh, lang label. I want it will be easier. I know that Basque verbs have a definitive. Um, um, most extreme number, I think there's almost a thousand for some uh, verbs or noon or oh, I'm not sure anymore. But we'll try and uh, say this slabber, this one, does this work or not? Or am I tired? Lexem as a language, Lexem as a lemma, well, yes, why not? Lexem as a form, and I group for each one and I count the number of forms. Number. 
yes but that's no that's stupid of me because that's way too much um let's forget that let's let's fix the language that would be easier for now um let's take uh, for instance uh, turkish so there's not much in turkish for now but some of eight which is not bad most are one or less that's not a good idea and if we go and basque Yeah, there's a lot of words in Basque. A lot with 65, and I think, yeah, this absolute word, more than thousand. When I said thousand before, I was like, no, probably less, not actually a thousand of forms. Yes, mm. one, two, seven, four, twelve hundred seventy four. Why, why Basque? I think with this is the absolute uh, maximum and it will stay for a long time because that's why are you doing that if you look at britain i think i have 200 as the maximum for now which is already a big number yeah 188 <coughs> that's still one day for those for us well either yeah yeah that's probably yeah that's probably more max a bigger number of forms. Um, um, at that point, conjugation are better generated with wiki function functions. Yes, absolutely, Maya. That's um, one interesting point. But uh, yeah, if you're talking about generation, but are you just generating them on the fly when you need them? Or are you actually storing them, generating them to store them in two the like Uh Both could work. I would prefer to store them in like sims because you can add other information around it, like uh, how it's pronounced, how it's used, or whatever. Uh, if you do a recording for Lingua Libre, for instance, or if there's a registry, is it a familiar or formal words or things like that. Uh, precisely generate them on the fly and um, yeah I mean it's better to generate them on the fly than to have nothing so that's that's a good thing already uh, but I think at one point you need more than just generating them on the fly because uh, there's more there's, languages are always more complicated than what you can expect like this num this is actually a good way to show how it can be complicated because that's the verb to be in in britain it's also the verb to have because to have and to be is complicated in britain and the infinitive can be uh, this one or this one if you are in this area or it can be there's more infinitive there's like infinitive Beyond boot bear we would the end at the end boot with a u bezout bet and there's like 20 infinitive because why not <coughs> so yeah there's always more than just what you can generate there's link with the uh, directile and things like that i think that pozlovich working on uh, uh, on Lorrain, we'll encounter the same time of um, kind of problem. So we are going over discussion and derivating and more than we need, I guess. Um, it's been an hour already, so I'm more or less closing. Uh, except if you have question, uh, if you have more question, I'd be happy to to take them. Uh, I think that during the uh, Arctic knot itself, there will be uh, spaces for discussion and everything. And I look, Mayer, at what you are sending me, and uh, I'm a bit horrified actually, to be honest, because indeed that's 
a very, very, very big table of what? Of what? I'm very interested to see, to look into that because, yeah, Swahili is it's no joke. There's a lot of forms. Present, future subjunctive, okay, that's okay. Positive, negative, first person, singular, plural, okay. Second person, singular, plural, okay. Third person, singular, plural, okay. And then there's classes instead of person for conjugation. And this is conjugation of noon. No, no, this is conjugation of a verb. It's still a verb, okay. That, that's and yeah, I will uh, look into that. Just uh, Maya is doing a general comment again uh, about generating on the fly and say that you can generate the transcription of a pronunciation in, on the fly. Well. Most of the time, sometimes you can, but not always. I mean, it depends how wiki function will work and how much it will work. Like, um, can I generate pronunciation in uh, British English, in American English, in Texan English, in New York English, and everything I want? Um, because there can be a lot of subtlety, and uh, when you see, I will. On, I would only store, uh, I could see an argument for only storing explicit irregulars, um, but there's irregulars everywhere, and like for everything, so, so not easy. Um, no, it's not completely impossible, um, but it's complicated and sometimes it's more easy, easier and efficient, because I want to be efficient also in the end. Um, to store, just store them, because harmonize, is it a S, is it a Z, yeah, it's both um, harmonized, uh, past tense and things like that, just in English, for simple verb like harmonize, that can be quite fun already. But I think the Arctic Note will be the place to talk more about that, so see you Tuesday for more information. You can follow on Twitter and various places and Telegram uh, if you want. Everything is uh, on the Arctic Knot page that I will give you one last time before I go. And you can find me on Twitter on many places also. So one last time here, the link. <coughs> um. That's interesting discussion in the chat. I will look again for that and be in touch with you, Maya. Um, goodbye, uh, everybody. See you soon on the Arctic Note or maybe next Tuesday. Uh, maybe not next Tuesday. I will need to check. Follow Twitter to know. Bye.